kind of a performer, whether you were a dancer, an actor, uh, a singer, or even stand-up comedy. Because it all comes down to preparation. And this is what we're going to be working on. Now, at this point, if you want to act because you're in love with celebrity and uh, want your uh, picture snapped by the paparazzi as you go by in a limo, then this may not be for you. However, if you have talent and are willing to put the work in, it doesn't matter how tall you are, how short you are, how old you are, if you're heavy or, or skinny, it doesn't matter because there are characters for every type of actor in the industry. So what do they look for? They look for people that are able to interpret the script, to able to, to, to bring about what the author intended, and this is what intelligent actors are able to do. Now, there are going to be several things that are going to be working on over the time, and I'm going to just briefly go over all of them, okay? Um, first of all, is what is called sense memory. And that's exactly what it sounds like, sense memory. You're going to have to do parts where uh, your character is going to have to be cold, like that. See that shiver that I was just able to call up? Or heat, or pain, or whatever. So you have to call on those senses in your past and to be able to recreate them on stage, okay? There's also building character. Now, what does that mean? Every actor basically plays themselves, but if you're, it's as if you have the background of the character you're playing. For instance, if your character, say, for instance, went to West Point, well, certainly, you know, you would have learned to keep yourself upright and straight like this in a very military professional manner. But on the other hand, if you played a sneaky kind of pit pocket kind of a guy, you know, and then you'd be walking around, you don't want to be seen. These things you develop as you work on your character, okay? Then there's also playing an objective. What does playing an objective mean? It means you have to figure out why your character does what it does, what motivates them. It could be even something that the character doesn't even realize itself but that you put in there. Maybe the character wants to be loved or he wants to get revenge or some other reason. So you have to figure it out and that's what motivates your character, okay? And it's also playing moment to moment. What does that mean? That means that you play the moment that you're in at that moment. It requires listening to your scene partner and just stay in that moment into moment to moment to moment as the scene progresses. So it has that feeling of the first time that this is ever done, even if you rehearsed it a thousand times. If you're playing moment to moment and you have that focus, it'll have the illusion of the first time. And there's also the moment before, which they call. Okay, what does that mean? That means that before your scene starts, you have to know where your character has just come from before the scene starts. What is the temperature? Where they're coming from? If they're coming from work, are they tired from work? Whatever, wherever they're coming from, you have to recreate that within yourself before the scene starts. Okay? Now these are some of the things that we're going to be going over. And I'm going to leave it for now, so please, uh, share this with your friends. Uh, I'll be uh, glad to help you if you have any comments or uh, uh, questions. Feel free to leave it in the comment section. And that's all I have for now. So good luck to you in your career, and I hopefully I can be of help to you. Thank you. Goodbye.